All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about positive and negative space. Now, positive and negative space is very easy to understand. Um, it's not anything I want you to think of as complex. It is an element of art, and it is what we use to use for arrangement. We talk about um, giving the eye rest on the page, and we talk about how we balance things out and space them, and those all use positive and negative space. So first and foremost, I have a chair selected here because um, a chair is going to show us a good use of both positive and negative space. So the positive space, oh, it's not showing up now, cool. Um, but the positive space is going to be, there we go. The positive space is going to be the area that the chair actually exists within. So when you sit down on the chair or you pick up the chair to move it, you're going to be doing that using the positive space. Now, when you go ahead and use the negative space, that is because it is being defined by the positive space. Now, a lot of times I get asked which is more important. They both are equally important because they both involve each other. So it's like a yin-yang symbol where you have the black and white. So the negative space, which is all these, the holes in the chair basically, or the area around the chair, helps to define where the positive space is. So we can't really have one without the other. Now for this assignment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at finding the negative space and by finding the negative space, it's going to make the positive space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a chair for this. Now, you don't have to use a chair. You can use anything you want. But I find the chair uh, uses good positive and negative space because of the openings in the chair. So what I'm going to do is take my magic wand, and I am going to click the area that is the negative space of the chair. Now you'll notice it selected the inside area that's negative space as well as the outside. If your magic wand doesn't do this, then you probably have one of these settings set differently. And you have to do it a little, uh, you have to click more. Now for this, all I'm going to do is I made a layer already called negative space, and I am going to use the paint bucket and fill the negative space with black. So everything that is currently filled with black is negative space. And when I go ahead and go to the positive space, I am going to go ahead and make the positive space white. Now it doesn't look like it's like it doesn't look like I'm necessarily doing anything, but that is because I have not turned off the chair layer. But as soon as I do this, now you can easily see the chair. Now here's the thing, I didn't edit the chair at all. All I did was I put a white layer behind the black layer. The chair is still there. So I'm going to turn everything off and we'll put all these together. So we have one white layer, which is positive space. That is the tangible area of the chair. However, we never actually drew or selected the positive space. What we did is we drew and made a selection of the negative space, but in doing so, it creates the positive. So again, the positive and the negative have to interact with each other. They define one another. Um, and again, this is a simple lesson in seeing positive and negative space through filling negative space up.